Hello and welcome. Today I've got a used vehicle to show you. This Hymer, it's a 2019 version. So if you don't want the 2020, you might be able to save a few cents because it won't be much more than that. This vehicle here, 85,900. It is the Modern Comfort Semi-Integrated B-Class 580, 12,800 kilometers on the clock and it's in top condition. Now, when we're talking the prices, we have to bear in mind all the extra equipment and there you have it. That's what the extra equipment is. Most of that would have been uh, charged extra. And to give you some of the basic details, on a three and a half ton basis, you get this much payload, 555, seven meters long, 219 wide, and um, inside, 229 on the outside, 296 in height. So, uh, how does this differ from the 2020 version? Well, uh, I've been to Heimer conferences, and to be quite honest, I don't really know. I think the color scheme is slightly different, but other than that, there's very little. There are people who complain on my website and say, oh, I want to see uh, whatever it is. The uh, So you publish something like in February or something like, it's now February, probably won't be by the time this gets seen, but you publish something in February and say, I want to see, I don't want to see this year's version, I don't want to see next year's version, or, or I don't want to see last year's version, I want to see next year's version. Uh, bearing in mind that if they did want the 2020 version, then they might have to wait a very long time to get it. Right, now I do like this van. I mean, although I do prefer it with the, um, what do you call it, the, the, the width-wise bed rather than these lengthwise ones like this. Right, so we've got all these cushions sort of lying around as you get a trade fairs. There's the bit here. It goes sticks into here like that and it does have the warning on it maximum 80 kilos I've noticed that not all of them do have this warning so if you're more than 80 kilos and I think that most people are I'm not I'm well under it and I'm very proud of my weight but uh, uh, you've got to then sort of pull yourself up into this bit here although pulling yourself up is not so much of a problem because down here we've got the, the steps which uh, comes out very easily as you can see with one hand there you go mm, that goes down like that I probably normally use two hands being a bit easier to do but uh, anyway so that's uh, that's the situation there now we've got uh, wardrobes on either side and we can also get into the wardrobes from up here as well should we want to this will pull up as well which I won't do right now there's all the stuff on top of it Now, where the used, how much a van has been used is most seen, I think, in here. And to be quite honest, it does not use here at all. Is that meant to be like that colour? Or maybe. Well, this, I'll tell you, it looks showroom new. It isn't a showroom, of course, and I'm sure if they want this much money, they have really gone out of the way to sort of uh, tidy the thing up a bit. But. Uh, It looks pretty good from here. Now, uh, we've got this, um, the chassis which was introduced, I think it was in 2018. And we've got everything which is AL, what's it, the word, ALC or something like that. And uh, everything goes under, uh, into the chassis related to the van's infrastructure. And here, for example, you see you've got this huge amount of storage down there. In the one behind me, we've got the... Uh, this one here, which I'm not going to show you. There's the water down there. Fuse boxes here. Got more fuses down there. Here we've got the battery compartment. See, got two batteries in here. Well, that's that's a little bit of extra already. And you can even get more in there should you so want to. Although these are gel batteries, 95 amp. Uh, Obviously, I think these days most of us would want lithium. Depends if you're not going to use lithium, of course. If you're going to spend all your time at campsites, then you, you know, the cost of adding the lithium batteries, a couple of batteries in there, let's say 100 uh, amps each, would be a cost of what? A couple of thousand euros at least uh, each. So, uh, so if you don't need that, then I can understand why. So we've got a flat floor down here. And 
emptying C. Hopefully why this is one of my favourite vans. This television's got this rather weird uh, thing here. P press this out and sort of the television sort of moves in and out. Don't quite know what they were thinking of when I thought of that. Uh, these things here though, the, the uh, headrests, they will, uh, they'll go up and down. On some vans you've even got a special place to hide the headrests in under the chairs. Little compartment down there for um, shoes. So I think that's a that's a reasonable that's a reasonably good one. Hello. So I'll show one or two others because this thing here as well uh, is quite a curious used vehicle. Sixty eight six seven thousand nine hundred. All right, uh, MLT five eighty and uh, two hundred twenty width. Uh, and uh, 7 meters in length, 290 height. Uh, definitely one of my favorite vehicles, this one. Now, it, it doesn't look, this in this case, okay, this is now th three years old, so to speak, and um, this one does look slightly different. I can sort of tell that now as I walk in. Right, so this where I'm now north of Munich, it is uh, they've got one. It's one of the largest, uh, I suspect, in the world, certainly in Europe, um, places for selling motorhomes. Uh, there is a quite a large amount of used vehicles here as well, although they're recently used. If you like, they're not. I was hoping to see some classic stuff when I came here, and that's uh, what my. I must admit, that was my large part of my um, inspiration to come here. I was hoping to see some you know, 20, 25 year old vehicles. But as they, they said, as they told me yesterday, that as they're giving guarantees, um, you know, sometimes two year guarantees, you can't give a two year guarantee on a vehicle which is that old. And I think that's uh, understandable. So the question is, by buying a used vehicle, how much do you actually save? I mean, that, um, okay, so 19,249 on the clock, three years old. Um, what was the original price? I don't remember, to quite honest, but I do have it on my website. So from that point of view, uh, you, you, you can't actually compare. Right, uh, you've got, if anybody's interested, there, there's the details there. So... Uh, whom to contact. Right, I'll show you, show you what else we've got here. Uh, right, this one here, that's, that's a new vehicle, B-Class DL588, and this death left here, Advantage T, and uh, it's got 67,337 on the clock, 45,000 uh, euros. Uh, now, uh, Deathless is a company which is owned by the Erwinheimer Group, but it's not quite at the same level as far as their branding is concerned. It's a rather curious thing. I filmed one yesterday, which is 10 years old, had the same kitchen which I've never seen before so this is a relatively newer van well, I certainly prefer the bed in this shape but I don't like ladders at all I think it'd be nice if they could have made some steps down here somehow maybe um, either push the fridge up a bit got rid of that uh, if you want a big fridge and got rid of the one below and add steps up, I think that would have been a nice, nicer way of doing it. Um, also, because you can store things in the steps as well, pull the thing out. Anyway, just an idea there. Should they ever do that again? Thetford oven down there.
Oh, add your son living. Well, it's hardly in the same quality. 44,184. And um, kilometers, very good condition. And uh, age, 1st May 2013. But uh, given the choice of an Adria or a Heimer, there's no, there's nothing there to think about <laughs> at all. I don't have a particularly high opinion of Adria. And bear in mind that um, I'm a bit of a clearing house as far as opinions are concerned, because people sort of complain to me. A lot having you know the website and uh, YouTube sites and things. September 2018, 20,000 on the clock. Bursner Harmony Line TD 590, price 47,900. huge amount of storage here and from this one you've got two entrances one from inside and one from outside if you've got some clothes you want to take off wet you've been skiing or something like that you want to take clothes off outside right these other ones I'll show them in more detail I'm sort of just doing this as a quick look over give you a rough idea. Heimer car B504 45,900 look at that March 2012 thinking wow this looks good but I don't like things like this at the back but 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 we could say well okay we've got the bike rack there which has been put into the garage but you might say well you could always use this as storage at the back take the bunk out which uh, I'll get you the the details on the size I didn't do that First time I've seen that lock on the door. In a van. And certainly it's got a lot of nice details to it. Double floor as well. Price is a fair whack. Let's have a look down here. I'm quite curious to see what's in here. Trusco, which uh, is uh, uh, new, so I won't bother with that. Heimer Mobile, special price, Starline 680, new. Another new vehicle. Oh, is it? Yes, it is, sorry. Uh, at that price, Heim XSI 588. Next or time, haha, uh -huh, now this one here. Is it the are June 2017, 14,000 on the clock, so it's hardly been used at all in three years, and uh, so it says from first hand, there's been one, one user. 46,900. Well, 
it looks very, very good condition for a van of this. Uh, well, three years, been in use for three years, or hardly in use for three years. Uh, one of the other, other ones said, uh, not used for uh, rentals. And uh, when something, obviously if it's used for rentals, as, as we will all know, things tend to get uh, damaged far more quickly with the rental. And this one's a new one. Okay, this is the M MC, um, Modern Comfort, uh, semi-integrated, 680, 89,000. So I'm just gonna use this as a comparison for the new one with the uh, the one we started off with. Although, of course, this one is a much longer van and uh, it's got different, uh, different layout as well inside. Now I'll come back to the one I started off with, this one here. Um, I tried to give a comparison, I tried to do comparisons which are fair, maybe this comparison wasn't fair by uh, taking down. Having said that, the price range, uh, uh, so it was, well, it was quite a large one, wasn't it? But uh, anyway, so I presume that some of these vehicles either trade-ins or they used as demonstrations, I don't know what the, the history is behind them. Uh, if you are interested uh, in uh, any vehicle that I actually show, then please do uh, contact the uh, company itself uh, rather than me. You can write comments below. But I can't. Um, I don't know if they'll respond to them or they won't respond to them. But if they don't, then really, quite honestly, that's their fault. Okay. Thanks very much for. Uh, watching and I hope you'll uh, subscribe